The Cairn Terrier is one of the oldest terrier breeds, originating in the Scottish Highlands. The Cairn Terrier lives from 12 to 12 to 15 years. Dude, you're like almost 12. Goodbye. Wait a minute. No, you seem okay. You're still moving. Cairn Terriers are definitely a terrier that you want if you need an opinionated, super stubborn dog. Although they are Boop. uber cute. Boop. They don't like being booped. Boop. Boop. See, he moves every time I go to boop him. So yeah, don't like being booped. Um, oldest breed, Scottish Highlands. I don't think he speaks English. That's yeah, that's probably the problem. He just speaks Scottish. So if I uh, maybe if I talk like James Connery, welcome to the shitty. No, apparently doesn't speak Scottish either. He's ignoring me now. Super playful right until uh, the day that they die. And uh, they're just an overall really good dog. As opposed to Yorkies. We all know what they're like. So your good virtues are they're super loyal, um, very playful. I'm not talking to you. Um, that's about it. Because other than that, Karens are super stubborn. Um, not real good with little kids because you do tend to, to kind of protect yourself more than you probably need to if you got little kids around you, which is something, now we just keep you away from little kids. And that's probably only going to get worse as you get older. So, would I recommend a Karen? Probably not. You, you're, you got to be a special kind of person to have a Karen. Because a Karen is really, I hope so is really a dog for an adult family and he's also a dog for somebody who doesn't mind training a dog without beating them because a Karen will not respond to any kind of abuse with anything other than aggression <laughs> so like if you think you're gonna you're gonna beat your uh, Karen Terrier into submission that's not going to happen because these are kind of like that guy that you see in school that when somebody punches him he just goes everything turns red and he just attacks everything around him hey we're still not talking about yorkies so yeah a, a karen has to be dealt with in a special way you have to you have to train them under their own terms because they're uh they're definitely they're definitely designed in a different way than most dogs and I think that probably has something to do with them being one of the oldest terrier breeds because they just have that terrier thing in them Ted trying to do a documentary on Cairns you're uh -huh. clearly not helping okay attack 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 doesn't matter who you attack just attack somebody anyways so that's that's my brief synopsis on uh, Karen Terriers. It's the, it's the same kind of thing like with the Jack Russell. You have to you have to really want a Jack Russell and know what to do with a Jack Russell. Otherwise, they're going to drive you absolutely nuts. Yorkies? I don't know. I, I like Yorkies. Karens? I don't think I'd have another Karen again. Sorry, Tobes. <laughs>